Yes. Mr. Oakman. Yes. Can you see my screen? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Can you see my screen, spoke me? Yes. All right. Okay, now in today's class, what we have to do that we are going to learn that how we can make our sprite clickable, okay? What we have to do that we have to delete this sprite, okay? And then you will go in the sprites and then we will go in the fantasy. Okay, and in the fantasy, we will get a unicorn. Okay, we will get a unicorn. Okay. Do you have any confusion till here, Spoke me? No, sir. All right. Now we can increase its size. Okay, a little bit. All right. Now, Spoke me. What we have to do that if I want that when I click on this sprite, that when I click on this sprite, this should change its color. Okay, so how we can do that? That we will go in the events. Okay, can you see that there is a third event when this sprite clicked? Can you see that? Spoke me. Can you see that there is a block that when this sprite clicked, okay, we have to use this event, okay? This event means, what does this say? It says that when this sprite clicked, this means that when we will click this sprite, so what should be change in it, okay? Spoke me, can you hear me? You are muted. Okay, after that, if I want that when I click on this sprite, it should change its color. So, if we go in the looks, okay, can you see that there is a block change color effect by 25? Okay, we will use this block. Okay, now what will happen that when I will click on this unicorn, it will change its color. Can you see? That every yes. time when I click on this unicorn, it is changing its color. Okay? okay. Do you have any confusion till here? No. Okay. This was the color effect. Okay. Change color effect by 25%. Can you see that there is a small arrow? Yes. If we click on this arrow, you will see many different effects. Okay, we will we have a fish eye effect. If we click on this fish, we will set if we set this to change fish eye effect. If we click on this, you can see that it is changing its effect. Yes. Okay. Now if I change it to will. Okay, now what will happen that when I will click on this, it will build. Can you see that it will a little bit? Yes. Okay. Now we will see the other effects. We have a pixelate effect. Okay, if I will click on this, if we change it to change pixelate effect by 25, if I will click on it, can you see that it changes? Okay, so this is pixelate effect. What does this minus 25 does? That it will reverse the effect, okay? Okay. That's why I'm just putting minus every time to reset it. Okay, then we have a mosaic. Okay, if we click on this sprite, can you see? It is yes. just breaking 
okay now what else do we have we have change brightness okay if we will click on this you will see that it brightness has changed can you see it okay then we have the ghost effect okay we have different effect in this we have now ghost effect what will the ghost effect do that when we will click on this right it is ghosting okay spokesman do you have any confusion till here no okay so we have many different effects okay but now what we are going to do we have to use the change color effect by 25 okay so that when i click on this unicorn every time it will change its effect okay do you have any confusion till here no okay now we will go and add a backdrop okay we will go in the backdrops and then we will add any backdrop. I will choose the RT. Okay. Okay. Do you have any confusion? No. Okay. Now we have learned that how we can make our sprite clickable. That when we will use the when this sprite clicks. So if we will click this sprite, it will change its color. Okay, if you want that when you click on your sprite, it should move 10 steps. So what you will do is that you will add the most 10 steps dot under the when this sprite click event. Okay. Okay, Spokeman. Okay. Now, if I want that our backdrop should also be clickable, which means that if I click on this backdrop, something should happen. So, how we can do that? We have to code in the backdrops. Okay, how we can code in the backdrops? Can you see that there is stage written here? Yes. If we click on this, you will go in an empty page. Okay, and you can see at the top corner, at the top corner of that page, you can see that there is a backdrop. Can you see that? Yes. This means that you are now coding on your backdrop okay now i want that when i click on this backdrop it should change the backdrop so what we will do that we will go in the events okay and can you see that there is a block that when stage click yes okay when stage click means that when i will click on this backdrop okay okay when stage click now I want that when every time I click on this day backdrop, what our backdrop should change. Okay, so how we can do that? We will go in the loops and can you see that there is a block next backdrop? Can you see that there is a block next backdrop? Yes, sir. This block means that this block will change the backdrop to the next one okay now what we have coded in the backdrop that when stage click next backdrop now if i click on this backdrop the backdrop will change can you see yes okay now if i want to add more backdrop i can just simply add it from here okay we can add the castle we can add the forest we can add anything we like. Okay. We will add few more backdrops. Okay. Now, every time when I will click on the backdrop, it will change to the next backdrop. Okay. Do you have any confusion till here, Spokeman? No. Okay, and every time when I will click on our sprite, it will change its color. Okay. okay. Now, spoke me. I want if I want that when our backdrop is switched. Okay, for example, I want that when I click on this backdrop and it reaches to this backdrop, so our unicorn should say something. How we can do that? I will show you that how you can do that, okay? 
if I you want that when your backdrop is changed, your sprite should do anything. So what we will do that we will go in the events. Okay. And can you see that there is an event that when backdrop switches to? Yes. Okay, we will put this in a sprite. Okay, that when backdrop switches to, and here we have an arrow, which means that we have a lot of backdrops in it. If we click on this, you will see the names of your backdrops. Okay, if I want that our that when our backdrop is switched to the R tape, our unicorn should say that we are in the R tape. So how will we do that? We will choose the Arctic from here that when backdrop switches to Arctic and then we will go in the loops, okay, and we will use the save block and what should it say? What should the unicorn say when it reaches to the Arctic? Yeah. We are in Arctic. Okay, we are in the Arctic. Okay. Now, if I click on the backdrop and when it will reaches to the Arctic, it will say we are in the Arctic. Okay. Okay. Do you have any confusion till here? No. Okay. All right. Now, Spokeman, if you want that your unicorn should say every time it reaches to any backdrop. So what we will do that we will again go to the events. We will use this event again. Okay. And then we will just change that when the backdrop switches to space city 2 and we will use the looks and we will use the save block. What should it say when it reaches to the space city? What should it say? Spoke me. Yes. What should our unicorn say when he reaches to the space city? Tell me. It should say that we are in the we are in the space. City. Okay. Now we will check that if it is working. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. That when it reaches to the space city, it will say that we are in the space city. Now we can add more blocks that when backdrop switches to space, it should say that hello, hello aliens, fellows, I am here. Okay, now if we will check that if it is working or not okay now if we will click on our backdrop and it will change to this backdrop it will say that hello alien fellows i am here and when it will change to the arctic it will say we are in the arctic and then we will go to the space city it will say that we are in the space city okay okay do you have any type of question or conclusion in here spoke me no sir all right now, if you want that your unicorn should do more thing, you can add in it, okay? If you want that whenever you click on the unicorn, it should start a sound, okay? So, what we can do, you will find that when this sprite click, okay, and you will go in the sound, okay, and then you will use that log that plays sound magic spell okay now you will you can see that 
when I will click on the unicorn, first of all, it will change the color effect and after that, it will play a sound. Can you hear it? Yes. Okay. Every time you will click on the unicorn, it will change its color and it will play a sound. Okay. Do you have any okay. type of question or confusion till here? No, sir. All right. Okay. Now, if you want that whenever you click on the backdrop, it should play a sound. So, what you can do, you will go in the backdrop. Okay. The, you have to go that when we say click next backdrop. Okay, this means that whenever you will clicking on your backdrop, it will change it to the next backdrop. Okay, you have to put this in the backdrop. Okay, not in your sprite. Okay. Okay. Now, if you want that every time you click on your backdrop, it should also play a sound. So, what you will do that you will go in the backdrop coding section and you can see that here is a sound that plays sound pop. Okay. Now, if you will click on the backdrop, can you hear the sound? Yes. Okay. And whenever you will be clicking on your unicorn, it will change its color and it will play a sound. And what's happening that whenever it is reaching to any backdrop, it is saying something. That it is saying we are in the space city. Hello, alien fellows. I am here. We are in the Arctic. Okay. Do you have any type of confusion to your student? No, sir. Okay. Is all clear? Yes. Okay. All right. Now I am stop sharing my screen.